Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the screensaver settings are not working properly on your computer. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, what we're going to do first is open up the Start menu, type in Control Panel, that's smash to go back with Control Panel, go ahead and lock click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then select power options. Whatever plan is currently selected, you want to select the change plan settings that correspond to that selection. And then where it says restore default settings for this plan, go ahead and left click on that. Select yes. Once you're done with that, also close out of here. Open up the star menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best match to go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the troubleshoot option on the left side. And now on the right, underneath get up and running, scroll down. Keep going until you get underneath find and fix other problems and select power. Find and fix problems with your computer's power settings to conserve power and extend battery life. Select run the troubleshooter. So if there were any changes necessary, it should apply them automatically. So go ahead and select close. Just give you guys another option there. And one further thing you can attempt here would be to actually open up your screensaver settings. So just type in screensaver. Underneath settings, turn screensaver on or off. We're going to go ahead and select that option. And you want to make sure screensaver is selected here. So if there's none, obviously there will not be a screensaver shown. But if you select a different option here, it should provide you with different screensaver availability features, obviously. So if there's none set, then there's obviously not going to be a screensaver being used. So just consider that. You might want to look into this setting too. And if you're still having a problem after all of that, another thing you could attempt would be to run the system file checker utility scan to find and fix corrupt files. And that would be to open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter and keyboard to begin running the scan. It will take some time to run, so just please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, what's well, just closing out of here? We started the computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.